We spoke to the sister of Judy Chamberlain. Jill Burr told us she never really thought she'd see this day. I lost hope over the years. Yeah, we just gave up hope. And then when my brother, we finally got a call and it's like, it was like almost like we're reliving it again. Jill Burr admits it's painful. Still, she is beyond relieved that justice for her sister, Judy Chamberlain, might finally be within reach. It was 33 years ago that Judy, 21 at the time, was brutally raped and murdered, found strangled in the basement of the former Fargo building on D Street in what is now the Seaport District. Mr. Vega is 60 years old. He denies the charges. Today, Richard Vega was charged with the rape and murder in Suffolk County District Court. Vega entered a not guilty plea. He's already serving a prison sentence for the 1987 rape of an elderly Revere woman. He's an animal. He needs to be in, in a cage. He's a wild animal and he needs to be in the cage the rest of his life. A DNA sample had identified Vega as a suspect in Judy Chamberlain's murder back in 2011. But it was only recently that prosecutors collected new evidence enough to charge him. For Chamberlain's family, it brings back bad memories, but some good ones too. Judy was a free spirit. She loved horses. She loved music. I lit a candle for her this morning and it's still burning by her picture. Jill Burr says she can't even begin to contemplate closure until there's a conviction in this case. Today, the judge denied Richard Vega bail. He is back in court on November 30th. I'm Mary Saladna, WCVB News Center 5. Mary, thank you.